celebrate this thing just now. Look, fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes. No sauce, no nothing added to it. Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits, party people. All right, Cajun shrimp, so you see all of that sauce in there. All right. our banana pudding. Banana Parfait style. Pudding. Parfait style banana pudding. Listen. Uh, you know who we be. Chef Lex. Naya be knowing. Sue Chef Naya be knowing. For yet another episode. Go ahead and wave hi to the people out there. Let's talk about our three courses in 30 minutes. That's going down tonight. Where did this boost of energy come from? Oh, the energy's been here. When this is my favorite time of the week. This is it. This is what I get up for is to be able to knock these dope dishes out in 30 minutes, in a half hour, in a quick sitcom period. Y'all know what it is. Uh, all right, okay, cool. All right, cool, cool. I'm ready. I'm hyped. I already hyped myself up enough. All right, now, you guys chose as you do every week. Uh, our three courses in 30 minutes. You chose for the menu today, fried green tomatoes. Uh, Ooh. There it is, fried green tomatoes, shrimp and grits, Cajun shrimp and grits. Ooh. You see the dance happening, you see the dance happening. And then lastly, yeah. banana pudding. Uh, my wife's personal favorite. Uh, so thank you guys for choosing that over the strawberry shortcake. I was hoping that you guys would choose the banana pudding. All right, now, uh, we're gonna get this time started. Uh, almost, almost ready, almost ready. All right, let's get this thing going. Time starts now. Now, now. all right, now. First thing we're gonna do, so now if you know it's gonna be in the background, you know she always gets started on a dessert. All right, she's gonna be making the, the banana pudding. I know, you're thinking banana pudding. Doesn't it need time to set? Not instant pudding. Obviously, we're going instant today. All right, so she's gonna get on that banana pudding. All right, I've got, I, I'm, I got a pan of oil here. I'm gonna turn this up so that that pan can get heated. I've got my green tomatoes. Huge, huge shout to my neighbor who grew these. These are looking beautiful, delicious, and amazing. All right, I'm gonna cut these down. Uh, before we cut them down, what we're doing today, folks, standard breading procedure, SBP, right? We're gonna do it A, flour, and then uh, what we're gonna bread this thing with. All right, the flour is what we use first to coat whatever it is that you're about to fry. You coat it with flour first and foremost. Then you throw it in the egg, in the egg batter. All right. I do tomatoes that work like crazy. Oh man. That is, I, I know how it be. When, you, when you're working in a restaurant or you're working somewhere culinary and you're constantly working with one ingredient, you don't ever want to see that ingredient again. Bless you, bless you restaurant workers out there. Bless you guys out there in the restaurants getting busy and providing meals for people while they're in their homes trying to manage this quarantine and manage all that craziness. Big shout to all you guys out there in the restaurants. You guys do some important work. I got some service people in here with me right now that I want to salute. All right, so look. Flour. Egg batter. And then what I'm gonna batter this thing with, right? That's that my, my egg wash and what I'm gonna batter it with. Now the flour and the egg wash, all right, it creates a glue for whatever that batter is that I'm gonna that I'm gonna make. That batter that I'm making is some cornmeal, right? Cornmeal is gonna go in there. Fried green tomatoes, southern. Anytime you're dealing with something southern that's fried, typically you're gonna have that cornmeal grittiness that adds that extra crunch. Oh man. You know what? I'm gonna let my neighbor know. Uh grin some three. I'm gonna let my neighbor know about the compliment. Uh, that's what's up. She will be thrilled. She will be thrilled that she got something that looks better than what she's going by. That'd be amazing. All right, now I got in here both um, breadcrumbs and I've got some cornmeal. I'm gonna add a little bit of, uh, of garlic powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo. I'm gonna put, throw some spice in there. I really wanna hit it up with the seasoning because I don't have any kind of a sauce or remoulade or any of that to mix into this. So I really want to make sure that what I'm working with is going to be very, very, very flavorful on its own. All we're going to do is garnish this plate after we fry these tomatoes with some uh, green cherry tomatoes. That's what we're going to do. Uh, and then everything else will just be some tastiness that's in there. All right? All right. Now, boom. Let's get what we're going to use as we're frying. Okay, so now, now that we've got our setup, set up. 
We're gonna slice these tomatoes nice and thick. Like so, nice big slices. Green tomatoes tend to be a little more firm, which is what makes them nice to fry. Right, and as you can see, they are very firm. All right, let's do one more tomato. Can you guys see here? See what I got going on here? All right, about a quarter of an inch thick are these slices. I'm gonna do maybe five, five pieces. And a six one in case one acts up. All right, now, green tomato sliced. Get this in here, get a few of them covered with some flour. Again, right? And we're gonna get this right, right in this pan to fry up. Again, the flour, right? I'm gonna dredge it, but then I'm gonna bang, bang that flour out of there. The flour and the egg mix create that glue. All right? <laughs> Thank you, regulating on Lady Face McGee. And she knows this. She knows the questions are for Friday. I don't know what's happening here. She know better. All right. All right, I get these, I'm gonna drain a little bit of that egg off, right? If you let the egg uh, that comes off of the, off of the tomato in the mix, if you get too much of that egg in there, it's gonna start to clump up your batter. Before you can really use it, it'll be in clumps. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bang off my flour, I'm gonna drain off a little egg. All right, I got three pieces going on in here. Should we do all five? Oh, let's get this one piece. All right, now, egg in my batter. I'm just gonna shake that up a little bit. Get my hands going on in the mix. Oh, that looks good, that looks good. Show them, show the people. Our milk and our organic Instant pudding. pudding. Instant pudding. We're gonna throw some banana puree in there. Once it's, once it's done, that's gonna go right in the fridge. Good, what you got? You got the water running, what's happening? What's, up, what's, up, what's going on with that water? I know what's about conserving, conserving. Conserve. That's right, conserve that water. All right, good. Now, I'm gonna take my, my battered fried green tomato going in to get fried. Let me move this over so you guys can see the frying that's going down. See that frying happening there? It's gonna go in there to get fried. Again, now this time I'm gonna knock off some of the batter so that the batter isn't just stuck uh, Create burning up in my in my pan as it's frying. Again, I'm gonna do two more. All I need is five. That's all I need. Don't waste water. That's right. Wasting water in here. We will not. We will not waste water. But you know, sous chef Naya, she, she be everywhere. She be getting it all done. So she's always she's always gets a pass. Uh, some of the kitchen rules that I have. She always gets passed. Okay, now. Who's, is that, oh, that's a relative right there? Say, don't waste the water? Well, that makes no, no, sense. That, that, oh, yeah. that makes sense. The other arm? Okay, I got you. You right, auntie. Don't waste that water. Don't waste that water, girl. All right, look, two more, two more. No, I don't want this, I don't want these to get too dark. Let's take a look at them. Oh, okay, good. Let's get them out. They're nice and brown and beautiful. Oh man, look at that already. Fried green tomatoes, real quick, real quick. We like these dishes when they're quick like this. We like a quick starter. We like a quick first course. All right. That means we can give extra love, extra love to the second course. Tomatoes going in. All right, cool comment collected today. I know, I know, last week, with some complicated dishes. We were running around here like chickens with our heads cut off. Sometimes it gotta be that. We got a winning streak to uphold, right? Sometimes it gotta be that. But we're cool, calm, and collected today. All right. Now, that oil is nice and hot. So that's gonna happen real quick. You're setting that aside. I've got a second mm -hmm. for a water break. And, come on, Jamaican sweat towel. You never failed me, don't fail me now. All right. This one, I'm gonna give it a little longer. I'm gonna give it a little longer. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna set aside my excess tomatoes. We'll do something fun with that a little later. Excess tomatoes. I'm gonna pull 
my dish to plate, and then I'm gonna start prepping on my cutting board what I wanna work with. And that's, this one's gotta be good. Nice and golden brown. Looks like it's got a whole bunch of flavor going on in there. Right, I have my, my paper towel on top of a plate to drain the excess oil. And let me show you something. I love this, I love when this happens. Look at that there. You see the little bit of green that's exposed? I'll show that to you guys. I'll show it to you guys as well. I love a little bit of green exposed. I want people to see the green tomatoes. I want them to see that it's looking nice and tasty and good and beautiful. Okay, now, before we plate these, I'm gonna move this. I got hot pan, hot pan coming. Hot pan on. All right, so we moved that oil out the way. Now we're gonna have our shrimp dish front and center. Wow, nice, nice. So with this shrimp and grits, a little bacon's going on in there. I've got, I got a blackened seasoning. What happened, what's, what's, what's? Oh, the, the wife doesn't like bacon, but you know what? She married a Puerto Rican. So what you gonna do? You're gonna have bacon. We already talked about this. Pork on our fork. We do swine and dine in here. Puerca, huepa. You know what it is, come on. Come on out there, party people. Okay, a little bacon going on in here and I'm gonna use some of that fat too. So that bacon's gonna go down. All right, what I want for this starter, I just want, the way I, the way I wanna plate it, I just wanna stack this thing up. And just let it look nice and just give it, just give it some height. I just wanna give it a little bit of height. And then, right around there, I'm gonna throw some of these green tomatoes. Come on, simple, nice, simple, yet yeah, elegant. Look at that there, y'all. Fried green tomatoes. Simple, and they're gonna be flavorful. We hit it with a bunch of flavor. We don't need a sauce for it. Nice, clean plate. Okay, good, let's get it set aside. Boom, dish one. Dish one down, how much time we got? Oh, that was 10 minutes, okay, all right, all right, now. Now let's start getting serious. Let's start getting serious. Okay, so I got my bacon in here. You see the bacon. I'm actually gonna leave the bacon there. You can see me working over here. I got my bacon in here. I've got a bell pepper already, already somewhat used. All right, uh, which is all good because I absolutely don't want to waste food. So I'm just gonna cut out the rest of what I'm gonna use here for my bell pepper. Look at the cleanup as we go. Last week, it was a madhouse in here. This week, okay, so, so maybe I missed, maybe I missed on, on a little bit of the cleanup, but this week, it's not gonna be as crazy. We're not gonna let it be as crazy as it was last week. Tornado season last week. All right, so, tornado season. Tornado season is what, is what my production team said. Tornado season last week. What's happening? You missed, that's how you're gonna act? That's how you really, from inside? What's, ooh, what's going on with that smothered pork chop? Yeah, buddy. Okay. Now for this one. Oh, great. Oh, good, good. Watch that. Watch that. Though. That's okay. You don't need any You put two cups? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, no, that's perfect. That's perfect. Get that thing up hot. Okay, so uh, sous chef and I are ready to put the water on for the grits. And again, instant grits, instant. Listen, we got 30 minutes. We gotta make this thing happen. We gotta do it fast. What is going on, beautiful people out there? We'll hear that I said, oh, always a pleasure to be hosting you. Thank you for being in here in the mix. Okay, now, with this dish, what I want, I just want some thin sliced bell peppers. I mean, really, really thin. Let me, let me actually cut this down. I want them really thin. I almost want them to dissolve a little bit. Because I want them to add their flavor. I don't need them to keep their texture in this dish. So we're gonna slice these really thin. I'm being very deliberate. I got that bear claw going as always. All right, let's do a little bit more. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the onions. I'm gonna slice them nice and thin. Oh, oh yeah, we got the bacon, we got the Oh man. It's getting right. hot in here. It's getting hot and 
Uh, time is running out. Time is running out. So we are gonna oh, oh, let's keep this. Pull this bacon out. All right, the bacon released a little bit of oil. I'm just gonna keep a little bit of that oil in there to add to that flavor when I throw these shrimp in. Okay, again, thin slice. That's about all I need. Let's, see, let's set that aside. That's my bell pepper, set aside. Onion, same thing. Same thing, party people, I just want a few really thin slices of that onion to go in there. This bacon is taking its time, isn't it? Jeez, come on, what's happening? We may have to get just the crispiest pieces and get those out of here. Come on, bacon. Yeah, that flame is hot. I don't know why you taking your sweet time, bacon. All right. Onion, same thing. All right, I cut onion down the middle between the, the tip and the core, right? Oh, whipped cream you got going on there? Yeah. Sue Chef, now as you know, and she's got the whipped cream going on. All right, here we are. With our onion, same thing. Nice thin slices of onion. Real thin is how I want it. And not too much, not too much onion. I don't want to overwhelm the dish with onion. All right, okay, now this bacon is starting to act right. A little bit, a little bit. So I've got a little bit of bacon. I'm gonna use some bacon that's a little uncooked. I won't use that. Actually, let me keep that uncooked bacon in there. But this crispy bacon is really what I want to get back in. Oh, that's nice, that's beautiful. Okay, let's get these onions and bell peppers in there. Start to soften. Mm-hmm. I always appreciate my studio audience giving you the, the, the physical play-by-play, -play, the sensations that are happening in here. You're hearing a lot of that. You see the steam coming up. You're hearing a lot of this uh, uh, sauteing happening with the, oh man, that does smell wonderful. A bit, it's a bit strong. It's a bit strong. <laughs> We're doing a little Julian now in here. A, li a little Julian is happening. All right. I'm gonna keep that bacon in there to keep crisping it up. I'm gonna let this thing saute. What thing is I want a the little brown on it too. The water oh, water okay. All those grits. Get those grits in there. Grits about to go in. Get those grits in there. Use that whisk. We use a whisk as we stir those grits so that we get all the lumps out. All right. All right, next. Now I'm gonna prep all the good stuff, all right? Here's my shrimp. I should, so now I created my own, see this says onion powder on it, but it's not onion powder in there. I created my own uh, Cajun seasoning mix. Paprika, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, a little cumin, a little turmeric, chili powder, um, cayenne pepper of course, and a little salt and a little black pepper. Gives me a good, nice spicy mix. So I made that, I always have a mix. I love to make blackened salmon. I love to make Cajun chicken. So I always have a little bit of Cajun on there. Put the onion in the freezer. You're absolutely right. I did not put that onion in the freezer ahead of time. That is a great trick. Another trick to help you not have to tear up as you're cooking or cutting onions is to be chewing on gum. It exercises those tear ducts so they don't get as irritated. But you're absolutely right. Put that onion in that freezer. I feel you. I'm not mad at that. All right, now, what we got going on? All right, so bacon is still going down. Shrimp is about to go in here right about now. Shrimp, shrimp in. Shrimp is in. I'm gonna let those shrimp do their thing. Now, when it comes to shrimp, people ask me all the time, how do you know when shrimp is done? When's the best way? Uh, when, when's the best way to tell if shrimp is done? Let it get soft, sort of pink, like slightly pink. If you're doing a dish where it can sit, then let it get slightly pink, then cover it, and let that steam do the rest of the cooking. If not, then let it get a little more red, like pink heading towards the red side with those little red streaks, and then you know you're done. There's a thin line between cooking shrimp well and then getting shrimp rubbery and overcooking it. Don't let that happen. Okay, now, in the meantime, while I got my shrimp in here doing what it does, all right, I'm gonna hit it with this blackened seasoning. This Cajun mix right here. Generous, generous with it because I want I I'm gonna add 
some uh, chicken stock to this as well. And I really want this to be seasoned very, very, very well once I get that gravy. Because the best part about the shrimp and grits is the gravy that goes over it. That's gonna come from the shrimp and come from whatever, you know, liquids that you mix in there. Matthew, Luke Cage, you know what it is. How are you, my friend? Beautiful seeing you guys on here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of minced parsley. Garnish this thing with a little bit of minced parsley and a little bit of fresh scallion. All right, so let me just get this minced parsley going on. Oh, wow, we've got 10 minutes, but we gonna make it. I feel good, I feel good today. With, 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 with Jamaican sweat towel. That's what brings the luck. That's why we on this winning streak, just so y'all know. The Jamaican sweat towel, you gotta have something that holds you down in the kitchen and, and brings you that confidence in the last, in the last moments. All right. A nice mince on here. Let's see what's happening with people out there. This is about to be everything you damn right, my friend. Wish you were down the block like you used to be so you could come and get you some. But I know, I know the big homie uh, is taking care of, of, uh, of that appetite down there. Uh, shout out, shout out to Blue Chip Catering. Uh, Y'all do delicious, amazing things. If you're down in Georgia, if you're in, in, in that area, check out that Blue Chip Catering. Uh, they don't play. They do not play. Uh, I think, what's, it, what's the Instagram? Put, post post the Instagram uh, for that blue chip catering so people can see uh, the what was it that I saw the white the white Hennessy uh, drizzled honey drizzled chicken and waffles is that what anyway so I got so I mean look big things big I know people that, do, that are doing big things uh, at all times okay so a good mix all right on this parsley get a good mix on this. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. All right, this shrimp is starting to look nice and beautifully pink. Oh man, you can see, can you guys see that? When I flip that, that shrimp, I don't wanna pull this off. I wanna let this thing keep doing what it does. But when, when I pull that off uh, onto the other side, it was beautifully pink. What I'm gonna do now, all right, now I'm adding this garlic this minced garlic, you already know, I have minced garlic, I keep minced garlic on hand. I suggest you do the same. Don't get that minced garlic in the bottle, lift it, whatever the preservative is that makes it taste all kind of weird or whatever. Um, I'm gonna put this minced garlic in now because I'm, gonna, I'm about to put that chicken broth in there and I want the minced garlic, I don't want it to burn. I don't want it to add that bitter flavor to it. I don't want it to brown. So I'm putting it in now because instead of it browning and burning, it's just gonna kind of sit in there and, and soften a little bit and add extra flavor. Yeah, blue chip catering. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I got people, I got big people in big places. We got eight minutes. Oh, that's beautiful, okay, good. Now look, Our look grits? at that, look at those creamy grits. Get, get a, um, a tablespoon of butter, get that butter in there. Hit it with a little bit of salt. All right, now here's what I'm gonna do. I've got, I've got some chicken stock that I'm gonna add to this, but this is gonna, it's gonna cool it down. And I wanna get a flame under this now. So I'm gonna transfer this over. All right, cause I really wanna reduce some of this liquid, all right? Some of the shrimp is still a little raw, which is perfect because as this liquid reduces, it's gonna fully cook that shrimp without making it rubbery. I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my, uh, my, bacon and just kind of crumple that back in there so that we have some of that. Crumple all that bacon back in. And then I'm gonna get this on the stove. The stove has a higher flame. It'll, table it'll bring it to a boil real quick. Room. All right, hot pan, tablespoon, tablespoon. Hot pan behind you, hot pan, hot pan, hot pan. Hot pan. That's right, sous chef now, if you know one doing the dessert and the grits tonight. Uh, just just an incredible talent. And I, I'll tell you what, I first started working with my sous chef uh, because it was just fun. It was just fun to have her in the kitchen and I, and I really enjoyed her company and her presence. Um, but then something amazing happened. Uh, she just started being an incredible sous chef. She just started losing talent. And now, now I have people constantly asking, wait, how old is she again? And, and, and that's the biggest, uh, surprise gift of having my sous chef in the kitchen. 
she's about to be 12 uh, this weekend, by the way. So wish her a happy birthday, a happy early one. Um, but if she can get in here and make these amazing, incredible dishes, there's not a single person uh, that can't. It's, that's, that's the real. That's the real, and that's the, the privilege that I have, being able to have sous chef Naya in the building every day. She also brings just uh, a fun, uh, incredible energy. I think I found a piece uh, of mint for a garnish. Yes, oh, there you go. Yes, you did. Okay, good, we got a garnish going on. Now, I'm gonna just take a second and go deal with these shrimp. I'm just gonna turn it down just a little bit so that it can start to reduce. All right, now, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh man, okay, all right. So, three minutes. instant pudding, three minutes. already firm, already firm. Uh, banana puree going in so that it can get mixed through. Banana puree, all we did, we took some banana, sliced it up, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Then we mashed it up, banana puree. Done, done deal. Come on. Let me get mm. You were on top of it, Sue Chef Naya. You were on top of it. All right, so first thing that's gonna happen. Ooh, three minutes, I like it, this is good. This is real good, okay. She's putting the wafers in the little cup. Get, 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 get on the top, that's right, wafers on the counter, that's perfect. That works. All right, wafers. You put this at the top, put this at the top, like right here, it's the double. I do like the double, save the double to the side. Okay. All right, mini wafers going in. Now, our two oranges. Vanilla pudding. Tell me how banana nice, pudding actually. Tell me how nice this piece of mint looks for a garnish. You, she, so, uh, you know, you compliment your, your sous chef, and then she gets a little cocky. That's all right. Okay, it's all good. Cocky. It's all good. She had, she talking about the mint like she like she picked it herself, like she created it. I like I it. Did it. I, did I like it. it. I like whoever it. Whoever did, but. <laughs> I like it. You gotta feel yourself in here. Okay, a little more banana pudding. Parfait style, I see. All right. One more thing here, banana pudding. A little spill, that's all right. That's all right, you make a mess in the kitchen. That's how you know you're doing it right. Okay. And then, vanilla wafers. What's the time? Oh, two minutes. Oh, this is two good. Two minutes. This is good. Two minutes on the dot. This is, the, uh, this is the third course going down here. Now we're gonna top this thing with some banana pudding. Get it topped, get it topped. All right, then lastly, go ahead, hit it from the middle, from the middle, it's gotta look good. It's gotta look good. Okay, give me the stick, give me the stick. Ah, it's so big. You wow, start from big. the center. There you go, boom, beautiful. Take that in there. We need a banana. Banana, 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 banana. How's it looking right now? Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> One minute, seventeen seconds minute, left. Eight, six, why does this happen every week? We're, we're always like right in the middle. Okay. Get a nice middle of the banana. Banana going in. Hit it with the hit it with the garnish. Damn. There you go. It's a no, bit of, no, no. It's all right. It's all right. It's a bit of a treat. Okay. Banana pudding. Banana pudding happening. Okay, lastly, lastly. Thank I'm main you. event. I'm main event. 50 seconds. Do you need me to oh bring the shrimp to you? Bring the shrimp, bring the shrimp. 50 seconds left. Why? Every week. Every week. 35. No, we're still going to have time. We're still going to have time. Okay. Are we going to do that special dance? We are gonna do our special yes. dance. Okay. What's up? Okay, okay, shrimp. Shrimp goes on top. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And then we need a bunch of this gravy. Hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Really, 20 seconds left? 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, <laughs> where's the third one? Oh my goodness. Every week, every week. All right, y'all, what, what do we, we do here? 
What do we do here? We gonna celebrate this thing just now. Look, fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes. No sauce, no nothing added to it. Shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. Shrimp and grits, party people. All right, Cajun shrimp, so you see all of that sauce in there. Yeah, all right. Banana pudding. Banana Parfait style. Pudding. Parfait style banana pudding. Listen. Ooh. Lord, this is making spectacular. Hold me down every week. Every week. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get it. Let's hit it with the bacon. Since we did bacon today, let's hit it with a little bit of the bacon. All right, all right, go ahead. Sizzle it. Sizzle it. You see that there right there? All right, flip it. There it is. There it is. There it go. And there it is. Oh my goodness, once again, thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. For joining us another Wednesday, another three courses in 30 minutes. Oh man, uh, again, every Friday. Like, I gotta let somebody off the driveway. They're, you know, house problems. No, no, I already let them out. You did? Okay. But, but um, the car's like sticking out of the track. I'm serious. Car's sticking out. <laughs> Move the car. Okay, okay, thank nice. you so much for another week. Three courses, 30 minutes. Check us out. Let's be sipping live on Friday. Don't Ask move. any questions. Uh, and we'll see you again next week. Bye. Peace. Yo,